Hey guys, this is John o from Silicon Dales. Just going to talk today about, uh, in particular, ManyChat uh, and also how we've been using uh, Facebook Messenger bots to automate some of our marketing processes for our own e comm stores and also for our, our client stores. Um, bots uh, have become really popular in the last six months. There's a lot of new courses out there how to how to use bots. Um, but it, it actually can be a really quite simple process. There's a little bit involved in the back end uh, to get things set up, but I'm just, just going to walk through a, uh, a, a system that we use or a strategy that we use at the moment to leverage your existing uh, email list uh, and also your existing social media followers um, onto and convert them to uh, a messenger or convert them onto the messenger subscriber list. So they remain on your email list and remain obviously as followers in social media, but you'll also um, have them sign in or opt into your um, your messenger list, and then you can market to them through that list. Um, we use ManyChat, as I mentioned, uh, and this is we're in the dashboard here at the moment. It's it's sort of evolved over the last year or so to be really quite easy to use. When they first started, there was a little bit of scripting involved, and uh, it was a little bit complicated for anyone who didn't really understand that stuff but now the system um, is really quite good it's only ten dollars a month um, there's also a free plan so you can get started but if you've got any sort of email list and any sort of social media following i'll just sign up to the ten dollar um, pro account straight away and, and get started so what um, the main thing we want to be able to do is obviously as mentioned convert our current list and our current customers uh, onto the messenger list so you can see here this is just an example um, a small client that we uh, rolled out this campaign in August and immediately we had a, a quite a large growth of people opting in onto the messenger list and then it's just steadily grown over time and that's just going to continue on. And then once you've got that list you can market to them and if we just look at, I'm just going to click through to a broadcast uh, that, a post that we actually sent out for Black Friday and we'll have a look at the stats here. Uh, this is a message that went out and you can see there was it was sent to the entire list, 99% uh, delivery. The open rates of 95%, which is is quite incredible, obviously compared to email, and that's why it's such a powerful strategy to use. And then we had CTRs of 15%. Uh, uh, this particular store does anywhere between a thousand and two thousand dollars a day, and on Black Friday we did close to 15,000 from this one simple strategy, um, highly targeted and great returns. So with ManyChat, you can create really complicated and complex automations. Uh, there's a lot of things you can do, a lot of automated flows you can set up, but just going to um, look at a really simple way of uh, having your um, your current customers opt in to the Messenger subscriber list. Bear in mind that any time you use a, a bot with Facebook, there are strict rules, and you've got to abide by those rules or else you can get your, uh, your account flagged and sometimes suspended. Um, it's been working for us okay uh, so far, but we've been uh, abiding by the rules. And you'll see in a second when we go through this process that there are some many chat sort of helps you out with that a little bit. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to growth tools here, and then we're going to go to new growth tool. And what we're doing here is creating a URL where uh, that you can send to your current customers or on your email list or in your social media and if they click through on that URL they'll be taken to an automated message in Facebook. So we use this messenger reference URL here and we click on that and then we're just going to give give our tool a name uh, we'll just call it test1 and then we're going to go and edit just need to save it first. Now we can change the name later. So what all we're going to look at is an opt-in message. So uh, and what we want them to is entice them to uh, opt-in. So we might uh, you might send them an email saying uh, we've got this great offer at the moment, but you'll to get your private link uh, you'll need to uh, opt-in to this message and then you'll be able to get your link. So Let's just, uh, we'll create a message here. I'll just pause this video while I write. Okay, so this is just a really generic, simple message. Uh, but hey, first name, so you can use, um, uh, make it really personalized. Just a piece of little section down here, can, you can add in the elements you need. Um, so that uh, when they get this message, then their first name will appear here. So it's really quite personal. 
Thanks for your interest in our new product range. To get your private link, click the button below. So then the next thing we want to do is add the button. So we click the button and we're going to give the button a name. So we might simply say click here. And what do we want to do next? We want to actually send them another message. So I've clicked send message and then we'll say uh, great. Here is your code. And then you might put the code in uh, to then that they can use to go and get the discount or whatever. And but then you want to actually send them to the offer. So you'll add another button, but this time we're going to open a website and here you'll put whoops. We'll go back. Okay, so we just want to add in the website address here and uh, we've just added in the text go to store and then we can click done. So then you can see the draft message here. Uh, it's got our name, our first message, then the user clicks this button and then automatically they're provided their code and then they can click through to the store. So the next uh, thing you can do is actually publish it. We're not going to do that, but what you can do is preview and see how it works. So we'll click on preview. And we need to open Messenger. And this will also be, you'll get a message icon in, in your Facebook feed as well, uh, in the top right hand corner as per normal. And we'll just scroll down. So we've done this a number of times. So this is just a test here. So um, in our Messenger feed, we've got the message. We click and you'll see there is our message. And if we click through, it'll go to the site we added in. OK, so that's how we actually uh, we can use ManyChat to have our list or our subscribers opt into the messenger list so once you've done that now you can actually go and broadcast uh, your messages so we'll go and uh, create a broadcast now you can see all the broadcasts we've done in the past and we'll just click new broadcast and it's a similar, very similar process so we can just add in a message um, hey first name Just write this, pause it, and write this message. Again, just a very simple example uh, for the message. Then we can add our button, and again, we'll just go directly to the website this time because uh, we're, they're already on our list. So go to site. Again, you can get as creative as you want, and uh, the much um, can market to them better, but this is just an example. So we've created our message, and then up here, I, I clicked next. So this is where uh, ManyChat, help, ManyChat helps you uh, not make a mistake and keep you abiding by Facebook's rules. So a subscription broadcast, uh, this can't contain any promotional materials. Uh, promotional broadcast is where people have subscribed in the last 24 hours and then a follow-up broadcast uh, is you can send one follow-up broadcast uh, for people who have had a promotional promotional message in the last 24 hours. So this is just where you've got to be a little bit careful. Um, you can work around it a little bit by uh, when you do a, a your first broadcast message, you don't provide any promotional materials and just um, possibly give them some information that they might be interested in, uh, hint to them that they will be provided with an offer code, for example, then you can send them uh, this promotional message which you can do within 24 hours uh, once they've actually been active. So a little bit complicated but you just got to be aware um, of these rules here. And then uh, you can go and click send now and it'll be sent out to all the sus subscribers on the list or uh, depending on what rules you've selected here it'll be sent out to that many subscribers. So but as mentioned uh, really powerful stuff and you can just automatically build your subscriber list and then use that list to market to. Hope that all makes sense. See you in the next video.